us and the most popular streetwear brand and designers out there create and make a pieces like this that you definitely have seen before I figured why not to create it but with my own style added to it in this video I'm gonna show you the full walkthrough of my design process from start to finish without further ado let's go yo 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 what's up youtube back again with me Mato with photo manipulation technique using photoshop it allows me to combine these images properly for short design and that it's become a cool design like this and if you're wondering about this process today video is going to be about that let's go So I have two images right now to become my basic composition and my idea is I want to put a roll of money inside the box and make it look like money was taken out of the box but actually I got inspired by the roll of toilet tissue and from there I want to try a different approach by adding some cool element into it and for now I combining them all and I will start by adjusting this element and try to find out and I hope it is gonna be work by the way I put the download links for all these images in the description so I'm gonna speed it up this process little bit let's go Alright, it looks like the roll of money has been seen unified in the box. Now it's time to make the money part that comes out. I got rid of the part that I don't want it and only left the pieces of the tissue. As you can see, I used the stamp tool to remove the flower pattern from the tissue helps me easier to quickly solve it then I drop my pieces of money and clipping mask it into my tissue paper I also change the blend mode to multiply to get the texture from it Now I make a deal with the same element but this time I'm going to create some of handle over there and I adjust the contrast with a bit for the whole composition to make it more pop together. Alright now I'm gonna add some tag to the surface of the box so it doesn't look too flat at all and maybe my logo to put in there too it's just for optional touch I actually I try to make it all blend in on the box by adding an emboss and bevel effect a little bit and then playing around with the sliders in the blend if to make it unified perfectly
right guys now it's time to adjust and balance the color tone so it's gonna make this design more stunning and more more cool actually I add camera row filter to tune up the color usually I set up all these things randomly by playing with the slider over there until I found a good result to the design I also adding some of noise little bit so that looks more contrast, sharp and clear. And don't forget to give a texture into it for make it more cooler. I add my dirty texture, it will give me a rough and dirty feel to my design. By the way, if you want this texture, I put the download link in description. Alright now I drop my pigeon image and here I made a lot of adjustment by positioning and transforming several times so that looks like it's holding and flying with my box. Alright guys move on to the next step. So I got the perfect adjustment and composition to the design and the result is so amazing with manipulate these images but for now I'm really happy with it. Let's add some of that to this and make some of simple logo for this design and after that let's put it on the t-shirt mockup to display this design. Let's go. Alright guys, so that it's all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.